just about ready for puck drop here. Scott for the Yorkies to the game now. Lakers gain control, trying to get it out. Coming up through neutral zone, here's Hurley. Hurley he has Holshoff with Hurley shoots into the mix section and fitting and Holshoff can bear the rebound and that one goes in and the Lakers score! 1-0 on Swingo here with 45 seconds into the period. Well, Tom, this is what they practice all week long, just getting shots on net and crashing in the net and finding a way to finish. A little bit of a fluke goal there as Finney was pushed back into the net, the puck trickles along with him. Oswego gets the crowd electrified here just 45 seconds into the game. And here come the Cardinals. Um, Neil gets it in front. Shot, scores on the rebound. There's Galati, two nothing Lakers. Tom. Neil has got this crowd fired up. That goal is going to go to Galati, as you mentioned, putting home the rebound. Finney tries to challenge the shot, take the shooting lane away, but coughs up the big rebound in front. No defender is home. Great setup by there, there by Neil to take Finney out of the play. You might not be surprised if you see an early goalie swap as Finney seems to not be able to handle the pressure. Back come Owens. Owens pushes into the middle for Tap. Tap is going to take the shot and it scores! And that's Tap putting uh, the Plattsburgh Cardinals on the board 2-1. Well, you're going to see Plattsburgh tries to take advantage of the fact that Oswego is not able to keep the puck in that offensive zone, which has been huge. Turnovers in the offensive zone are not going to work out well. You're going to see them push the board up quickly and makes a good decision to drop it off into the high slot. If you're going to pass right into the high slot, you're almost golden all of the time when you're the one firing that puck, as did Fox there for Plattsburgh to get them back within one. Sent in by Taft. Taft works in down low. Taft here in the near side corner. Sent down in front, shot, he scores! Taft finds generally out in front, and the Cardinals tied up two to two. Taft continues to work hard for Plasberg, and you saw it there. Had all the time in the world to find a man in front of the net, which was their leading scorer, Kevin Emerling. Comes right into the low slot, uncontended. No defender picks him up. Everybody is watching the player with the puck. Easy pass, easy shot, easy goal. Swatsky never stood a chance. Both sides is waved off. Neil has it. Neil trying to work it in front for Galati. Galati. Into the middle, takes a shot, but score! Alex Bunn works it in the back of the net. 3 2 lead on Swingo State Lakers! Tom, this is exactly what this arena needed and this Oswego State team. They were getting heavily outplayed the last several 10 minutes or so by Plattsburgh. A beautiful play sets up Botten in that low slot where you know he's not going to miss a chance like that. Galati, great pass. Botten completely uncovered one-on-one -on -one against Finney. Finney hung out to dry by his defense. Puts us go back on top with four and a half minutes left to play in this period. Well, Finney also was a little shaken up on the play, which I don't blame him after getting thrown right into the back of his own net. Back to the top for the Lakers. Over the middle, Galati to Finney score! Galati, we get used to calling his name so much here. Always a scoring threat for Oswego. If you take a look at replay, or at the replay, excuse me, the faceoff is one back. A beautiful pass again to the low slot, but the concentration by Matt Galati is he's getting taken down to the ice to be able to focus on making sure the puck hits his stick so he can deflect it the right way by Finney. It was really incredible on that play to give Oswego a two goal lead late in the period. Johnson moves this one forward and now picked up by Calabrese. Calabrese for Gorman. Gorman near side, shot, scores! Connor 
Tyler Gorman gets a pass, the left leg of Zawadzki, and gets the early goal here in the third. Absolutely a weak goal that Zawadzki would love to get back. Just didn't get himself in the right position, stayed high, expected the shot come high. Come high. It went low. He was not able to get his left pad down in time and scooted off of his skate and into the net. Egan picks up into the middle. Over the far side shot, and that one's blocked away. Shot again, and again, blocked away. Picked up, down near side, goal! Fox down on the far side. There's Watsky, could not recover, and we have a tie game. We knew Plattsburgh was gonna come out fast. The Plattsburgh fans that made the trip all the way here are absolutely loving it. Fox finds himself in the dead man zone where no one matches up against him. Again, Osmigo get caught. Everyone chasing the puck. No one looking for the man backdoor. This one is not Zawadzki's fault this time. Did everything to kick off some of the first good chances and just couldn't steer another shot aside. Johnson picks this one up. Gorman wins it. Gorman can't work it out in front. Johnson takes it away into the corner. Three seconds and this game will go to overtime. It's time for some free hockey. Picked up by Bonnie. Taken away by Galani. Galani got fun. Fun takes a shot. Backhand sent wide. Tap picks it up. Cardinals coming back with it. Egan over to Fox. Fox breaking for the middle. Finds his man shot. Scores! And the Cardinals win in epic fashion here as Dylan Fox finds Egan on the far side. And the Lakers lose a tough one here. Devastating blow. This all started in Plattsburgh's own defensive end. They came out, Botton had a great chance to fire a shot on the net. Not sure why he tried to go to the backhand. Should have had it right as soon as it landed on his stick, but instead tries to make a nifty move to beat Finney high glove side with the backhand, and instead that ends up missing the net wide, leading to the rush for Plattsburgh where you saw Fox, he was hanging around back door all night long, left wide open once again, a beautiful pass sent, sent across Zawatski and hung out to dry. Very tough 